guys, it's Eleanor here. It's Naomi here. We miss you guys so much. Today is going to be a fun day where we talk about the Holy Spirit and talking to Him. We miss seeing you got your faces every day. I hope to see you soon. Before we start, we're going to need three things. A Bible. A pen. And something to write on. We miss you guys and we'll see you later. The countdown starts now. Amanda here, I am your co-host today, and our host is... Ben! Hello kids, how are you guys doing today? I'm so excited for today's episode, and we are starting our new section on praying with the Holy Spirit, which is our last section on prayer. I'm so excited, right Amanda? Oh, I am so, so excited. I mean, I know I say that a lot, but I really, really am, because... With this, we get to learn how to pray with the Holy Spirit, and that's so important and so awesome. We absolutely need the Holy Spirit. He is a necessity that we need to invite Him into our lives when we pray. And today, we're going to learn about one of the reasons we need the Holy Spirit when we pray. And so with that, which leads really good into our lesson today, is the Word of the Day. Word of the Day time. So, Amanda... Yes. For the word of the day, yes. Bad Bear Ooh. gave okay. us a challenge. Now, first off, first off, oh. Bad Bear gave us a scroll. <gasps> we get Bad Bear's new name? Is yes. What it is? And in the scroll, kids, is Bad Bear's new name. And we'll have a big grand Dead. reveal at the end of the episode. But before that, our word of the day, Bad Bear issued us a challenge that in this jar right here, it's in between me, Amanda and I, is the word of the day. And we don't know what it is, we can't see it. But we have to go get the word of the day out of the jar without using our hands with the tools provided. Do you guys think we can do it? It's going to be pretty hard, right, Amanda? It is, but I'm excited. This is going to be fun. Something new, something different. Awesome. So, Amanda, in this jar, this uh -huh. is where Bad Bear left us the word of okay. the day. And we have to get it without... Touching it oh, with our hands. I can't. I can't touch the jar. No, no, no don't touch it. Uh, uh, you can't touch but, it. Otherwise, you lose. Okay. So, Amanda, do you want to start? Uh, sure. All right. Okay. What tool um, will she use? I'm gonna go with the pliers. Pliers, pliers, pliers. Ah! Ah! No, 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 no. Touch, 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 yeah. touch. Not that one. Okay. I'm gonna go gonna with do? a clothespin. Okay. Clothespin. Clothespin. Eh, you no, I, I, I'm not gonna be able to get it with the clothespin. There's um, no way. Um, I'm going to. Ooh. Attach this to this. Let's see if this works. Hmm. Creative, creative. Like fishing, right? Um, except problem. I can't open the clip from inside the jar. Oh, man. You know what? You know what? This is like, I love slinkies. And maybe if that I get it in cool. one of the grooves and pinch it, and when it goes up, I cool. might be able to get. Oh, so close. Oh, so close. Oh, I think you're just hammering it down now. Um, okay. What, what, other, Ben, I don't think we can use any of these tools. Like, wait a second. What? I have an idea. I have an, an idea. idea. Let me, be, let me. He has an idea. What do you think his idea is going to be? Oh, water. water. So my idea okay. is if we can put the water in the jar, we can get the paper to float to the top and we can pick it up hmm. with, with chopsticks or one of these we items. We've got chopsticks. Okay, Let's try. you guys. Do you, you guys think this will work? I think it'll work. Let's see. Three, two, one. Whoop. And we're technically not touching the jar. 
Okay, it's rising. Oh, it's sticking. It's rising. It's rising. It's turning. Oh, it's sticking. Oh, oh no, it's rising. Oh, can you pick it up? Can you pick it up? Can you pick it up? I and we got, got the word of the day. The and the word of the day is equipped. <laughs> that is so awesome. And you know what, Amanda? What? That goes perfectly with our lesson today because yeah. our lesson for today is that the Holy Spirit equips us to pray. Oh, that's excellent. Oh, I'm excited to learn about this. I am so <laughs> excited. You guys know what? Pastor Brent's story goes perfectly with today's lesson. It mm -hmm. is kind of is today's lesson about how the Holy Spirit equips us in a story from the Bible where the Holy Spirit equipped some of his disciples mm -hmm. and a bunch of Christians and a ton of people came to know Jesus. So excited. I, I'm ready for this story. Yeah, Pastor Brent, off to you. All right, kids. I'm standing here in the sanctuary with these flags from the different nations. And you'll remember we told you a story on Pentecost Sunday about Pentecost. Now that day, all the believers were gathered together in this upper room and they were praying and, and seeking God for all that he had for them. And it was a time they'd been doing this for a little while because Jesus had told them to get away and pray together and wait for the gift of the Holy Spirit. They didn't really know what that meant, but there they were. They were praying together, hanging out together, calling on the Lord together, just like we do every Tuesday night here. We come together to pray and call out to the Lord. Now this day, something really special happened that they'd never experienced before. All of a sudden in that upper room, the sound of a mighty rushing wind came roaring through the room. And then as they looked around and were continuing to pray, they saw like these flames above people's heads and I mean, can, can you imagine? That would be super cool and a little bit troubling all at the same time. But they knew that the Lord was doing something in them. And then they all began to start speaking in other languages that they didn't understand, that they'd never learned before. And they didn't know how they had done this, but the Holy Spirit was praying through them. He was giving them this special ability. And guess what happened? Other people heard them because there was a time where people were gathered for all from all different nations in this region and they started hearing their own languages being spoken and they heard things that were being said about God right then said that day many people came to know the Lord why because the Spirit was praying through them in abilities that they didn't even have which he's promised to be able to do for us too that the Holy Spirit as we pray will give us abilities that we haven't even had before which is pretty amazing so let's see what God has for us Guys, I am so excited to hear about how the Holy Spirit equips us. Just in that story, it equipped the disciples to be able to speak in different languages. That was just like, that's amazing, so cool. And I loved seeing all the different flags there in the sanctuary, like how that shows the different nations and the diversity of the people that God calls to him. Oh, fantastic, I mean like, oh, Oh, I was gonna ask Ben something, but I see Bad Bear has taken Ben's place. Bad Bear? <laughs> what are you doing? Wait, what is that? What? Huh? It's time for the verse of the day. We have well, to, yeah. We have to do the verse of the day, Bad Bear. <laughs> what? Oh. You're sitting on the verse of the day. <laughs> Could you get up, please, so I can see the verse of the day? No, you're not gonna get up. <laughs> Somebody, you have to get up. Or I'm gonna make you. Oh. I'm gonna make you get up. I wanna see this. <laughs> Bad Bear. <laughs> ah! Bad Bear. Has he been eating Jello again? I don't know. Because <laughs> Bad Bear, you're super heavy. Uh, he is a bear. Bad Bear will not budge. Do you, do you uh, need some help? Uh, he's not. <laughs> Hold on. Okay. Uh, let me go help you. Let's try. Let's try. Right, you ready? Alright. What are you gonna do it? Ha! Ha! Well, uh, I don't know how she did that, but the verse of the day today is found in the book of Romans, in Romans 8.26. You know what? 8.26? Amanda, we I'm down for a Bible race. Me too. Ready? ready? So we have to open up the Romans 8.26. Bible's down, Bible's closed, hands in the air. Hands up. Romans 8, 26. In three, two, two, one, one, go. Go. Ah, Romans, okay. Uh, Romans 8, what? 
26? Eight Romans? Eight Romans. <laughs> eight. And got it! No! So got close. it right here! Oh, oh okay. wait, no. Wait, you I don't turned have... too far! No, 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 no! I got it! No. I got it. No. 826! I was there and I turned a page to. That's four. what happened to me last time! I got it! And the Holy Spirit helps us in our weakness. For example, we don't know what God wants us to pray for, but the Holy Spirit prays for us with groanings that cannot be expressed in words. The Holy Spirit helps us pray. And I love it because there are a lot of things that we can't do mm -hmm. without the Holy Spirit. It's true. And, uh, Amanda, I yeah. am convinced uh -huh. that without the Holy Spirit, mm -hmm. how can we even pray? Oh, that's true. Without the Holy Spirit, how can we pray? And here's the thing, the Holy Spirit mm -hmm. equips us to pray. And He gives us abilities and tools so that we are able to pray in the exact way for the exact needed time. Just like in this story, the disciples started uh -huh. to pray in different languages mm -hmm. and the people that, that were there heard them praying and heard them speaking uh -huh. in the language that they're their own native language. And I don't know how that's possible, but everyone's there heard it uh -huh. in their own different, yeah. I could, I could do like, you know, Spanish, you know, all of the different languages. Yeah, that, that's really cool. And, and it wasn't just like, just gibberish. It was, they were equipped with the right languages for the people that were there. Like, imagine speaking French and no one else in the audience spoke French. What would be the purpose? God, the Holy Spirit gave them the right languages for the right people at that time. That's just like, poof, he, awesome. He equipped them with the right words and the right did. tools. And God can equip us. Yeah. I, I just remembered just about what we did, that we needed mm -hmm. the right tools to do it. And we didn't really have the right tools for the situation. But mm -hmm. when we pray, God gives ex exactly the right rules, uh, tools for us to use, yeah. which reminds me, that we need to go to commercial break. Ooh. And at the commercial break, I heard that there's a game and it has to do with tools. Ooh, that'll be fun. I'm excited for this commercial. Let's see, Marina, let's go to the commercial break and see what we have with you. Good morning, Westgate kids, and welcome to your commercial break. With you, I have... Naomi and Eleanor. Good morning, guys. Good morning. I have a cool, fun game for you. So today's challenge is inside this butcher block, or uh, this piece of wood. I don't know what it's called anymore. Uh, you have these nails. And the point of this game is to get the nail standing inside this wood piece mm -hmm. using any of the awesome tools provided. And as you can see, we have some amazing tools in front of you. We have fans, we have balls, we have rocks, we have violins. I mean, the plunger is a great one. I actually would go with that one first. And you have one minute to get that nail inside the wood. Are you guys ready? Yeah. All right. Let's get that timer on the screen and let's go! I don't know, let's have She to... picked up the umbrella hat. Looks like that's a good one. Oh no. What do you got there? Oh, it's almost. Fine. Almost, yes, the fan is a good one yesterday. Oh yeah. <laughs> it's spitting in its mouth. <laughs> <laughs> you can't just be playing around here. What are you doing? Oh my. You, you got your hand there a little bit. Um, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Alright. Yes, there you go. That's a good one. You know, I actually just used that this morning, so. Oh, I'm glad well, it dried off. I'm glad it's dry. <laughs> good, good. <laughs> oh, there you go. You better watch out for that one. That was the used one. <laughs> helped you very much. Were they great tools? If you were to make a tool belt, <laughs> would you put those tools inside the tool belt? I mean, yeah. the dinosaur. Of course I for would. sure would not. <laughs> yeah. Except for the duster. The duster yeah, that's true. <laughs> Alright, so I think now what we'll do is actually give you the right tools for the job. What do you think? Let's get you some hammers. Sure. Let me get some hammers and see how fast you can do that with the right tool for the job. Now that okay. I've equipped you, Go. 
And begin. I think that? so. Yes. Yeah. I think that's a better tool for the job and you guys did so great. Kids, that is what happens when you have the right tool for the job. Alright, back to you Kids Talk. Marina, Eleanor, Naomi, that was so fun. I loved watching that. Like trying to hammer in the nail with like a dinosaur <laughs> or a plunger. Wasn't that funny? She had the feather duster and she was, oh, Eleanor was so close and it, no over and uh, that was fun <laughs> you know i love that because it goes directly with our story mm -hmm, for today that we the holy spirit equips us with what we need when we pray and here's the thing kids that doesn't just happen in the bible that happens today the holy spirit equips us to pray sometimes he can equip us with special abilities and gifts like speaking a different language that we don't even know I've heard stories about someone who God gives them a word and they say that word in a language that they don't know. And then there's someone else in the same room who hears that and the word that God gave them was for the person who knew the language. And God equipped them so that they were able to pray the exact thing that God wanted to say. And God can do that in your life, Definitely. right Amanda? I mean, it, it doesn't even have to be something that's done in another language. Sometimes the Holy Spirit just gives us the right words where we can help pray for people or encourage people. And it's the Holy Spirit knowing exactly what the people need and what we need to do and equips us not only with words, but maybe with the, the courage to do it or even the understanding to go forward or not to go forward. You know, there's, there's so many different ways the Holy Spirit equips us to do the different things. And it all comes back down to that prayer relationship that we have, that we have that where we listen and we, we talk with God and knowing Him. And the Holy Spirit just makes that even so much better because it, it gives us direction, it, it equips us. Ugh, there's just so many amazing things. And that reminds me of a story from my life about how the Holy Spirit, through praying, spoke through someone into my life. Oh. And so when God was, God called me to go into ministry and he called me to tell people about Jesus. And so when, for a period of time, God called me, but I wasn't sure if that was really something I wanted to do or needed to do. And, and so I went, and one day I was at a prayer meeting upstairs. Who's been to prayer meeting? I love prayer meeting so much, but I was in a prayer meeting. In my head, I was praying to God, God, if you want me to go and tell people about Jesus and go into ministry, give me a sign today during prayer meeting. And not, not even 10 seconds later, <laughs> not even 10 seconds later, someone goes up to the microphone and they pray this, God, I feel like you're bringing up people who are going into ministry and they're in this room right now. That's awesome. And the Holy Spirit equipped them with the right words and the right thing to say to speak to me. And I felt so blessed. That's one of the reasons why I'm doing what I'm doing today, even here today on Kids Talk. And you know what, kids? God can speak through you. When you're praying, God can equip you to say the right words. Sometimes he, he guides us to pray for someone who's going through a rough time. Or he guides us to pray for someone who doesn't know Jesus. And here's the thing, guys. Just because you're not as old, and just because you're not me or Amanda or Pastor Alec doesn't mean that the Holy Spirit doesn't want to help you. And here's the thing, guys. All you have to do is ask for the Holy Spirit's help. Because here's the thing. The Holy Spirit is with you no matter what. Mm -hmm. The Bible says the same Spirit that raised Jesus from the dead is alive in us. And that Spirit is the Holy Spirit. The Spirit of God Himself. And he is with us no matter what. So we can pray anywhere, anytime because he's with us. You guys remember we just talked about we that did. in the last section. 
And he's the God that created everything. The Holy Spirit was with God, and he is God, and was there during the creation before even time began. And here's the thing. Prayer is powerful because of that. Yes. And we need, we absolutely need to invite the Holy Spirit to equip us when we pray. Because prayer changes because things. Because prayer changes things. I cannot emphasize this enough. I cannot emphasize this enough. We need the Holy Spirit in our prayers. And the way we have the Holy Spirit in our prayers is to invite Him. And by inviting, all we have to do is ask, Holy Spirit, please guide me when I pray today. So I'm going to pray for you guys real quick. I'm going to pray that the Holy Spirit will guide you in your prayers and to remind you, for you to invite Him into your prayers when you pray. Okay, kids, fold your hands, close your eyes, let's pray. Jesus, thank you that you're always with us. Holy Spirit, thank you that you're always with us no matter what. And that you're powerful and you care about us. That you, you decide that you want to be with us and make us your temple and reside with us. Help us to remind us that when we pray, to invite you into our prayers. And to be conscious and aware of what you're doing around us and what you're guiding us. And help us to hear you, even if it's just a thought in the head or if someone else speaking to us. To, to listen to what you want us to pray and what you want us to do. And we thank you. Amen. I just, I'm so excited to learn more about how the Holy Spirit equips us in prayer. Like, I don't think I can, I can learn enough. I'm uh, so great. Uh, ben, what do you, oh! It is time oh to reveal our name for, for Bad Bear. Bear. Are you excited? I I am. I Are am so you excited. excited, kids? You guys do you excited? guys think you guys think you know Bad Bear's new name? Uh, I don't know what it is, but let's open it up. Take we the tape it, off. I, I think it's like in big letters, right? It's just in big the letters. Whole thing. We have it here at the grand reveal in three, two, one. Uh oh. What? 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 No! <laughs> what? What happened? What? what happened? I thought it was sealed and ready to go. Like what? I remember. I remember that, that they sealed it. Oh no! I didn't see the name. Well, I guess this week we won't figure out what Bad Bear's new name Sorry, is. Guys. But don't we have a challenge for this week, Amanda? We do, which I mean, I guess kind of can go with this, what happened. I mean, so our challenge was, you know, we talked about being equipped. And so we want you to invent your own tool and you can come up with what it's used for, how it works. We just you can't do a normal tool. You can't say, oh, this is a hammer with like that glows in the dark. You need to come up with something different. You can think it out. You can draw it out. If you want to try to make it, that's even cooler. Um, you know, can, can one of you guys invent something that can like take us back in time so we can actually see Bad Bear's Can name? I make a tool that turns all Skittle flavors into the red flavor into my Skittles? Because I don't like any of the flavors except for red. <laughs> that would be cool. Or, or what about like a teleportation device? That'd be Ooh. a fun tool. That'd be it just don't let Bad Bear have it. Oh, that'd no. be kind of scary. <laughs> well, you know what, kids? That's our challenge for the week to make your own tool, and that is all we have for you today, right, Amanda? It is. And that we today we learned that the Holy Spirit equips us, and He can equip you. All we have to do is invite Him. Yep. I love that the Holy Spirit equips <laughs> us. We'll see you guys next week. <laughs>